All right, guys, welcome to episode number four of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Series. Before we get started with this episode, I just want to let you guys know that this Friday, which is tomorrow, I'm dropping an exclusive Halloween edition playmat to match the deck box. So I'm doing exclusive limited drops tomorrow on Friday. All right, guys, it's going to be at 9 p.m. EST, 6 p.m. EST tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This playmat is going to be super duper sexy and super duper exclusive. And for those of you who are interested in further helping support the channel and also supporting the series, make sure you guys check out the Patreon in the link down below, patreon.com slash Team Samurai, to get access to early access and exclusive content when it comes to Master Series and also Duel Night. Remember guys, this series happens every single Thursday. Make sure you guys have your bells turned on, smash thumbs up button, and leave a comment on what your thoughts are on each and every single episode. Me and Farfa love to interact with you guys in the comments, so make sure you guys comment away. And Patreon, thank you guys so much for helping support the show. All right, guys, I won't waste any more time. Without further ado, Val, roll the intro. Throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history, we have seen some of the craziest sets to date. Some of the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh sets include Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, The Lost Millennium, The Duelist Genesis, Duelist Alliance, and Code of the Duelist. Apart from the main sets, a lot of us have forgotten about the infamous side sets such as Dark Beginning, Dark Revelations, Megatons, and many more. What's wonderful about side sets is that they have amazing reprint cards for main sets, and most importantly, they add new strategies that main sets don't have. For example, decks like Sky Strikers, Drytrons, Invoke, and even cards like Verde Anaconda and Dragoon are nowhere to be found in the main sets. This is where the brand new Master Series will stand out. In this series, Farfra and I will tackle all the side sets in Yu-Gi-Oh! Opening 24 booster packs every single week of the current side sets, adding cards to our collection and improving our decks as we go. We then play a best of three matches and the winner gets an additional prize bonus of five booster packs on the following episode to help out with the deck building strategy. Watch as the two of us battle it off and see who can become the master of champions. Let's begin. Welcome back to another episode. We are going to be doing the fourth iteration today and we are opening a whole box of Dark Revelation 2 as well as 15 packs of Duels Pack, Jaden and Chaz. I'm going to be going through the Dark Revelation 2 box first and foremost with my pulls today. Dark Revelation Volume 2 is the fourth reprint set in the TCG released back on October 20th, 2005. This set contains cards from Invasion of Chaos to Ancient Sanctuary. Cards like Blacklist of Soldier, Envoy the Beginning, and Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy the End are two iconic cards in this set. Fun fact! Monsters that required Banishing a Light and Dark Monster to summon are called Chaos Monsters. What makes this episode unique is that we're going to be entering GX era by including the very first Duelist Packs, Duelist Pack Jaden, and Duelist Pack Chaz. This set introduces the Elemental Hero and XYZ Machine archetypes used in the GX anime. Alright guys, enough talking. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the opening. And uh, not really looking for a crazy amount of good cards, but that is one of them. That is Compulse in pack number one, as well as King of the Swamp, which, uh, you know, if we get a decent amount of Jaden cards, we'll be looking at some heroes, so uh, that's uh, that could be pretty fun. Second Compulsory Evacuation Device, that is very fortunate. I don't know how good it is, but, you know, uh, this sucks. <laughs> what does that mean? Smashing Ground! That's a very good card to pull. Good spot removal, which is kind of what we're missing right now, because we're kind of relying on, like, Raigaki Break, which isn't, like, amazing, but... Got Smashing Ground, finally. Wall that we already have. Legendary Jujutsu Master! Another good card to have here. Okay, I guess the universe just wants me to play a, a play set of self-destruct button. Let's just have a best of ten today. Hey, another smashing ground. That's what I'm looking for, baby. More smashing grounds to get ahead. Night Assailant! Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. 
We've got another Jujitsu Master, which is really strong. I do like that. And I think we've completed our playset of Stone Statue, which is a pretty decent card to sit on. Final pack, ladies and gentlemen, to round this off where we get some hero cards. And will we get another Night Assailant, baby? We are not going to get anything good there. <laughs> This isn't like the greatest set in the world, but I mean, there's a couple of decent cards in here and we did get some of the things we needed. So that is a plus and uh, we'll take it. This is where we're maybe gonna try and play some heroes today. Let's try our best. All right, we got a uh, Avion. That's step one, I suppose. Clayman and another Avion and the Thunder Giant. First in a tricks and a fusion sage. That's two copies of polymerization total we have now, which is decent. Skyscraper. That's good. That's a good one. We do want to pull a skyscraper. Uh, I need like hero signal as well out of here. Uh, I think that's the third avion. We got a warrior returning alive, which is good. Come on. Polymerization of the skyscraper. That's very good. I'm happy with this. Bubble man. Okay. That's come on. First Dinatrix, another Bubble Man, and a Spark Man, yes! Oh, first Dinatrix. Oh, I know this looks bad, but uh... Save it. You two are pathetic, but your honeymoon is about to be over. We're in for it now. Come on, give me some more. That's a Clay Man, and I think the third Skyscraper, so that's decent. Ah! Damn it. Well, Dulos Pack, Chaz isn't as impressive as Jaden's, unfortunately. But uh, there is one good trap here, and it's Chetonian Blast, which I'm really looking for. So hopefully, we can get it out of here, and it's pack number one! Chetonian Blast! Very good, let's complete the playset today. Second Chetonian Blast, that's really nice. Trio, VWXYZ Dragon, Catapult Cannon. I think we can actually make this. I'm pretty sure we have, like, every target now, potentially. Oh! Triple Chetonian Blast. That's really good. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know about the XYZ W4269 cards, but uh, we got the Triple Chetonian, which is what I was looking for. I'm X2 right now, so you guys can call me Team Samurai X2. All right, I get it. The last week, since I actually put my brain together and actually connected the pieces and the dots to send this dude to the Shadow Realm, listen, we're not going to be on a losing streak once again, all right, guys? We're going to take a W in today's episode. Like I said always, floaters and consistency cards are super duper important. I kind of want to get more wave motion cannon. I really hope Pot of Greed is in this set. I want Pot of Greed. The more staples, the better. So let's flip our packs to see what we get right here. So there you go. That's our first pack. Nothing too great here. Let's open up number... Uh, let's open up pack number two. Let's see what we get. Flip. Ooh, zero gravity. Here, Manju. What is in this set? Smashing ground. Bot removal is really important, so getting access to cards like these is also really, really good. Night Assailant, really good spot removal again. Ooh, Venus is just really, really good as well. Yo, Dark Revelation Volume 2 is not that good, to be honest. Nothing really significant in this pack. Chaos Sorcerer. Now we're talking. Flip! Man, nothing good here. Okay, guys, so I totally forgot this rule that Farfra made. The winner of the previous episode gets to open up five additional packs of this current set. So since I won Dark Beginning Volume 2, I get to open up Dark Revelation Volume 2. So, guys, I'm so amped. I'm excited. Let's see what we get out of this, okay? Let's flip. Okay. Oh! A second Chaos Sorcerer! Oh, there's about to be some chaos today. <laughs> That was a good pack. We were able to pull one Chaos Sorcerer from our 24 packs. Wow, Mr. Shine Ball, pretty good. Next pack! Ooh, King of the Swamp. Flip! Nothing good for this pack. All right, guys, last pack of Destiny. Wow. So these are all the additional cards that we got from our bonus packs. Man, this is huge. I got super lucky with this one. These are all the cards that we currently have access to that's in our collection with cards from Dark Beginning 1, Dark Beginning 2, Dark Revelation Volume 1 and Dark Revelation Volume 2. So Double Chaos Sorcerer right here is absolutely huge. Ender Dragon is insane. Regenerating Zombies is pretty good as well. Gravity Bind, really awesome. Skill Drain. Royal Oppression, Ordeal of the Traveler. We're not going to play this card. Absolutely not. Dust Tornado, I kind of wish we had more back removal and more like monster removal. 
uh, which would be pretty nice. But yeah, these are the power cards I have so far. I want you guys to leave a comment in the comments below on what type of deck I can build with this. That's it. You know what? So far, I'm currently down one game, and I'm not planning to lose the Farfa again. All right, guys? Let's see what deck we can build from this, and I can't wait to have fun in today's episode. All right, guys, let's do it. Back here again with deck profile, and what you are going to witness... Well, I'll just show you. Why am I doing this? It's because you're a dumbass. <laughs> well, previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! I think me and Sam are going to gentleman's agreement not to play Fairy Box, and I know that sounds kind of lame, but it's a really unfun card that really prolongs games, and I don't really want to have a three-hour match, and I don't think you guys really want a three-hour match either. Previous Messenger of Peace for the stall strategy if we want to go, go down, down that, that route. There's the dumbass. Um, there is a very powerful monster in here called XYZ Dragon Cannon. It is discard a card to destroy a target on the field. The logic behind this deck is that I basically stall for time jokingly until I can finally establish, by using the Wall of Revealing Light and the Messenger of Pieces, until I can finally establish XYZ Dragon Cannon on the field by slowly normal summoning and special summoning off of things like Jar, drawing with the Morphing Jar, and searching with Witch of the Black Forest, and of course my digging of Pot and Graceful, to eventually establish XYZ on the field. Uh, at that point, I should have enough cards in my hand, and from all of the stalling, to be able to essentially discard seven cards and just destroy Sam's entire board and then go for the kill. Jokingly. <laughs> That's kind of what we're trying to do today. So basically, stall, jokingly, um, and stall with some stall cards and stall. <laughs> we're also playing Compulse, Judgment, and Curse Seal, specifically to counter Creature Swap. Because it's going to feel really bad to establish an X protected by a Y or something. Just for Sam to go activate Creature Swap, give me Sangan and steal my big boss monster. That's going to feel really bad. So Compulse will be able to bounce the monster and make the Creature Swap resolve without effect. Judgment will just straight up negate it and Curse Seal will also just straight up negate it. I'm pretty sure Sam is going to be on some kind of uh, critter control deck as he was last week. And uh, I did feel like I had a chance last week, jokingly. Uh, side deck is just more anti-burn cards because burn is still strong and it got even more support in this last set. All right, guys, here we go. This is my deck list going into this week right here. I think this is an amazing deck list. I think this is absolute fire. And what I'm playing today is I'm playing Chaos. Well, Zombie Chaos. Okay, I kind of wish I had more access to Pyramid Turtles and, you know, Ryu Kuki. I believe that's the name of the card. But hey, I got an additional second Chaos Sorcerer to add into my deck list, which is absolutely insane. What the main strategy here is Graveyard Control. So cards like Book of Life is absolutely insane. I'm able to manage a card in my opponent's graveyard and then special the zombie monster from a grave. So I wanna be constantly banishing his monsters in the graveyard just in case he's playing Chaos as well, and then keep rewarding back Patrician of Darkness. Um, the only issue with that this deck list is a little bit kind of inconsistent, but the good thing is that I do have access to Painful Choice. So if I draw, either draw Pyramid Turtle or Painful Choice, I pretty much win the duel. Painful Choice is used just to send Pyramid Turtle, Patrician of Darkness, and a bunch of other crap cards to the graveyard so that way I can constantly revive them back using Book of Life, and I can banish cards in this graveyard as well. This card is used as a deck thinner to thin out my deck a little bit more so I can draw into my combo pieces, and my power cards such as Chaos Sorcerer, I have Guard, to just control the tempo of the game. And remember guys, Regeki Break only becomes great when you have good discard cards. So cards like Center of the Serpent, which we don't have access to, but in last week's episode, we see Farfetch just discarding actually good monsters or good small and trap cards to just activate Regeki, which makes no sense. Now, since we have Thunder Dragon, Regeki, uh, Regeki Break becomes a lot stronger because you're able to just Regeki Break, just send Thunder Dragon to the graveyard and then just destroy a card in the field, right? Which is really good. Another card is Night Assailant. Target one monster point controls destroy that target. So it's a good flip effect. When this card is sent from the hand to the graveyard, target one flip monster in your grave, except this card, return that card to the hand. So this card can actually be used as a good discard card for Regeki Break. So Regeki Break, this card in the Night Assailant, like pop a card, activate Night Assailant, take back, you know, moth or something from the grave. And then going second, I'm gonna smoke screen side into burn. So you see all these 15 cards right here. Going first, he's gonna see me play some chaos cards. He's gonna maybe take out some back removal, things like that. We have to out big brain Farfa, all right guys? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna smoke screen side into burn, and then we're pretty much just gonna win the game from their own end. Remember, Fiber Jar is absolutely broken, but he also has Cyber Jar and also Morphing Jar that I saw earlier in the previous episodes, right? So, Fiber Jar is amazing. It's only used as a card to 
level the playing field. It's not a win condition. It's a card that, okay, if I don't have any good cards and Farfa has a control tempo of the board, uh, you know, more advantages than I do, sorry, but it's time to reset the game. You know what I'm saying? There it is. And he actually called me earlier and he was like, Sam, you should ban Fiber Charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why? This guy always makes suggestions when I win. Like, literally. Like, he. Next thing you know, he's gonna be like, can you ban Chaos Sword, Sam? Like, always complaining. Jeez. I'm really excited to see how this deck turns out. And yeah, without further ado, let's send Mr. Streamer Man to the chat room. Apparently, okay, I have to open 15 packs, Jaden Yuki, and open up 15 packs, Chaz. So this might change something, all right? Because I love heroes, and if I'm able to pull a lot of hero cards, I'm super game for this. All right, guys, first pack, no hero cards to be found here. Next pack, Bowman, Avion, Sparkman. Next pack, we got Clayman, Sparkman, Feather Shot. Next pack, let's go. Clayman, Thunder Giant, Clay Charge. I love this. Next pack, Burst into Tricks, Feather Win, Avion, here Hero Emerges. Next pack, Wing Karibo, Clayman. Next pack, Rampart Blaster. I'm amped. Polymerization, Hero Signal. Next pack, Avion, Rampart Blaster, Bubble Blaster. Where's the Flame Wingman? Next pack, please. Flame. All right, 15 packs of Chaz Princeton. Let's go. Ojama Delta Hurricane. Ojama King. All right, 15 packs of Chaz Princeton. Let's go. Ojama Delta Hurricane. Ojama King. Flip. Boom. Flip. Level 5. I like that. Next, armor level 3. Ojama Trio. Double. Oh, oh man. This is insane. This is insane. The third one? Third one will be insane. Third one will be insane. Alright guys, um, I don't think my deck list changes anything, to be honest. When a face-up monster control is destroyed, send the graveyard to destroy one face-up card, your opponent controls the lowest attack, your choice, and if you do inflict damage to both players, it goes to half of that monster's attack. I don't think it's too great. Looking at my list right now, I only have one secret barrel, so I don't think it's worth it. I think, to be honest, I'm in a losing streak right now. I would love to play heroes down the line 100,000%, but for now, I think my chaos strategy is still fun. I want to bring out some zombie monsters here, like Christian the Darkness, and yeah, man, here we go. Let's see on what this deck takes me. All right, guys, let's do it. Come on, get your game on. Let's jazz it up. Let's go. All right, five months. Good luck. I wish you nothing but the best, but of course, always. Oh, my God, dude. You need to stop saying Paper Gang in literally every single one of your duels against him. Why? Uh, because it's very easy to tell what you're going to pick, Sam. <laughs> okay, start off. All right. Well, let's uh, start it off with a graceful charity. It's pretty graceful, man. That's pretty graceful. All right, what are we saying? I think, I think graceful charity should get banned. I, I think it should get banned, to be honest. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> petition oh, to ban graceful bad. charity, please. Man All right, card. let's see. Shut up, Sam. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, let's uh, pitch these two. And then going to activate Mirage of Nightmare. That card is... <laughs> <laughs> Messenger of Peace. Oh my god, dude. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's not it's not what you think it is. It's actually a, a, a cool deck. I'll let you you'll you'll see in just a minute. Um alright. Standby phase. We're going to activate Mirage of Nightmare and draw four cards. Four cards is insane. Yeah, buddy. Alright. You know you know that you have to discard four, right? I'm, I'm just letting you know that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm aware. Ooh! Sam, please tell me you've got polymers. <laughs> please tell me you have polymerization. I'm gonna cry. Oh, please. I wanna see Thunderhead know, Dragon know. Colossus. <laughs> Bro, I have no extra deck. Can you, can you not see my Oh, yeah, you didn't play that. Oh, what the hell? It's just discard fodder? Damn, you pulled three Thunder Dragon? That's nice. All right, someone must be playing Raigeki Break today. Ooh, really? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Really, Farfa, really? <laughs> wow, bro. You, you see this? No fairy box, a messenger of peace, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. <laughs> you can't do anything. What do you want like to do? Like, wow. Come on, make a play, Sam. What's taking? Give me a second. I'm setting one. Setting one. All right. Have fun activating your spells. Okay, um, interesting. 
Each time a spell is activated, place one spell count on this card when that spell res uh, resolves. Max 3 tribute this with 8 spell special to summon a dark magician. There's no way you're playing. Like, this is just a beater, right? Like, surely this is just like a beater. Are you sure about that? I, I, just, I don't know, dudes. You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> sure about that far from you sure? Surely. All right, Sam, I want to sh show you something cool, right? So what did you tell me about Mirage of Nightmare? You have to discard four cards. But what oh, if it's no, you have no longer on the field? <laughs> no, you're so lucky, dude. You're Bro, so you're so lucky. lucky. You're so lucky, dude. All right, end phase. Um, wow. I, um, That's the only way to stop that card, to be honest. Not Bro. going to pay for Compulse. Wow. But, Sam. I love that. Sam. I love that. What's up? You're going to love my strategy. All right, I actually think you're gonna love this. And this is why I wanted you to open Duelist Pack Jaden, because I know you like heroes, because oh, I am are playing, playing uh, Are you playing XYZ? XYZs! <laughs> <laughs> that was summon Y Dragon! <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Effect of priority of Z Metal Tank to equip onto Y Dragon Head. Why? Why? <laughs> 2100 indestructible monster, Sam. Oh, oh, that's so good. All right. Um, that is so good. Now, the question is do I go on the offensive here? Because I have quite a couple yeah. of strategies up my. up my. So Just I intended just, to play this go, deck in a specific way. Well, well, what's the way? Like, oh, are you gonna. are you gonna. Fusion Summon? Yes. Bro, is, no. guys, guys, no question. Is is bro? Is a fusion summon like I sort like? Is it like a? a it's a, a contact tag? fusion. Wow. Wow. It's like the ABCs. Like, these are the original wow. ABCs. Well, guys, if Firework can pull that off in today's episode, man, yo, hats off to you, man. That, that'll be so sick. I would love yeah. to see that. Um, I would love to just see that. And I think that I'm actually going to. Um, I guess I should have kept this to uh, what's it called. Um. I'm really kind of scared of creature swap is the issue, so I think I do need to clear this. Sure. Because uh, that card is very good in your deck. Oh, no response. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Too good. All right. Well, honestly, um, bro, you could have just given me some crowners so I can summon Dark Magician. Of it. <laughs> Not going to happen yet. All right. What is that back row? Didn't do anything at all. Okay. I am going to... This is not looking... Too great for me. When a normal summon Archfiend Soldier. Okay. And I love some swaps action going on. Here. Ah, you see, Sam, you thought that you could steal my big empowered Union monster, but I prepared for this. <laughs> I activate the effect of my compulsory evacuation device targeting your Archfiend Soldier. At which point you have nothing to give me. And so I keep my monster. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb you guys. thought I wasn't prepared? You thought I didn't come with a strategy to counter what you were doing to me last week? I know, Sam. I Pepe know. <laughs> All right. I am going to um, proceed with uh, a normal summon of Shining Angel. Oh man, guys. Far from I think... really aggressive right now. Based off of the fact that you didn't have a lot last turn and uh, you are playing Creature Swap, I want to make sure that that doesn't resolve. I'm going to also activate Frontline Base! It do? It's the One name of my so deck, Sam. It's Frontline Based. Once Bro, per turn, I can special insane. a level 4 lower Union from my hand. Special nice. summoning another copy of Z Metal Tank! <laughs> <laughs> you need the Y now, you need the Y! Battle Phase! Yeah, no, I, I just need the X. Yeah, how do I... Ooh. <laughs> Sam, at this point, honestly, I'm just happy if I take a game off you with this deck. Like, I did not think it would be good at all, but to be fair, I drew Mirage MST, so that might have contributed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you don't... Well, you just don't a say. little. Yo, oh, you, you don't say, Farfa, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, you don't say, you know? <laughs> um, okay, Skilled White Magician, bring this back. That's, uh... No, yo bueno. I know it's your boy now. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Main phase two. Let's have a think here. Wanna, wanna crash into it? Would you like to crash? Or what? Um, yeah, I would like to crash Shining Angel actually, because that would get, that would uh, help me. Too bad you attacked bit. with them first. Yeah. Um, oh, this is huge. I think that I am just going to act. 
to, uh, sorry, just set, and that's definitely getting set. Am I using this card? <sighs> big think, big think, big think, big think, big think. Um... Oh, guys, I need to draw one card. Be graceful. All right, go ahead, Sam. Show me what you got. <clears throat> Five cards, six cards in hand. Two of them are Thunder Dragons, so, I mean... Gotta have something here for me, surely, right, Sam? Battle phase. Attacking my Z Metal Tank. Let me do some maths here. I'll let the tank die. I don't mind. I don't mind. Set and pass. <gasps> Sam! What happened? Sam, Sam, Sam! What happened? It what happened? is time! Axe head cannon! You know what that means, Sam? I have three pieces on the field. X, Y, and Z. Come forth, my X, Y, Z dragon cannon, baby! <laughs> Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh my god. I am going this to priority so on summon effect. Destroy your set fiber jar. Get out of here. Oh, Knight Assailant. Good call. Good call. All right. Um, I am going to uh, simply go to the battle phase. Attack over your skilled magician. Get some pressure going. Do some damage with my shining angel. And pass to you. Sam, this is just like the highlight. Like the fact that I've summoned this is like good enough for me. Like we, we can just we can just end the episode here. And I'm just happy that I've managed to resolve an XYZ dragon cannon. Like this this is everything to me. You don't understand. I know, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, normal summon. Gonna attack into my shining angel. We allow it. Because my shining angel gets to float in two! Another monster. Let's go into what do I have left here? Uh, wow. I'm Holy. just going to another shining angel, but I do like my unions, so I am going to bring out another Z Metal tank from the deck. <laughs> you know what's really sad? They don't equip onto the um, XZ Dragon Cannon, which is unfortunate because it'd be cool to Why? give them even more protection. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so you only target, like, uh, the other ones, basically. Yeah, you can only go... The Z only goes on to Y and X, and Y only goes on to X, but not Z. <laughs> Try, I spent, like, wow. 20 minutes trying to, like, wrap my head around this earlier. That is so broken. Okay. All right, you know what? Arfa, you know what? I, I, I gotta give it up to you, man. I'm gonna... I don't, I don't even think there's a way for me to... <laughs> no? Is it over? Yeah, man. I don't, bro, I can't help you. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god! XYZ Dragon Cannon! Come oh here! I want to get with it! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, GG, ah. Sam. Chat, holy crap. I need to take off emote mode just for this. Just for this. Can we take off emote mode just for this? Can we please get some poggers just for this, chat? Like, oh my god. I managed to summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. Like, just the fact that I summoned this is like achievement enough for me i don't care about anything else oh, i'm so happy oh god chaz would be so proud of me all right boys um what do we do now siding i don't think he's gonna be playing uh what's it called um it looks like he's on the same thing from last week so i want to put in more outs to stop the uh creature swap combo so i think it's going to be magic drains in and uh, wave motion out, and I think extermination out as well. Like Raigeki Break basically does what Curse Seal does for the purpose of this, specifically doing like playing Curse Seal for the creature swap. So the fact that Raigeki Break like kind of do just does that is kind of makes sense, right? So let's go with this. Man, that was the first rough duel, but hats off to Farva, man. He summoned X Y Z Dragon Cannon. That's beautiful. Uh, that is absolutely beautiful. Man, I really want to play the Chaos Strategy still. <sighs> Man, that, my, his Mirage of Nightmare and the MSC combo is just unbeatable. Like, I, I I, could not stop that. That was the only way for him to stop Mirage of Nightmare, to be honest with you guys. But I really do want to play the Chaos Strategy. Like, literally, like, it's just really inconsistent that 
you know, like I don't, I didn't draw Pyramid Turtle or Painful Choice, things like that. Because I did have a lot of Book of Life. That one really cool to just keep reviving back these guys from the graveyard and just applying pressure at that point. But at the moment right now, like it's it's looking like, you know, I kind of want to have a game three. So let's make this a little bit interesting. Let's side out all the, the, the chaos cards. I'm gonna take out all the possible chaos cards. Patrician of Darkness. And what I can do right now is I need to add into Desqualla Fiber Jar. All right, guys, so this is gonna be my deck list right here. Honestly, it's kind of like a coward strategy, but hey, I kind of want to have a game three here. So hopefully this deck can carry me on there. Okay, let, let's take out Night Assailant. Yeah, you know what? This looks fine. This looks fine. Let's see where this takes us today. Let's begin. All right, sounds going first this time. Come on, let's go! Oh, you got a nice combo for me? No! I have the perfect combo pieces! For what? Oh, oh for, for your XE's Dragon Cannon? Yes! Ah, I hate forceful! Hand control sucks! <laughs> God damn it! Oh. Well, what are you gonna pick, Sam? I'm gonna put that Shining Angel. Shining Angel, well, there goes my Y. Set one, huh? Ah, psh, pickles, dude! Come on! Come on! Alright, well... Oh my god, did I put... Did I forget to play Heavy Storm? You I did pull it, storm. didn't I? You don't play I think I pulled Heavy Storm. I'm 90% sure I pulled a Heavy Storm. You don't You don't play Heavy Storm? Five, five, what's going on with you, bro? I think I just forgot. Oh my god. Oh my I forgot. Alright, let's take this last card out of your hand. Which uh, feels kind of bad, because that's one sure. turn extra. Ooh, we didn't set Moth. It's a Moth! In the grave. Interesting. I assume this is just a moth set, but no it's choice but to uh, declare an attack on it. It's a moth! Alright, battle phase. Ah, oh, did you side into burn? Uh, what? Did we side into burn, baby? What are, you talking about? what are you talking about? Why would I sign into burn? Like, I just didn't see the cards, and you know? I just <laughs> didn't see the cards. Game one, I just didn't see the cards. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this, boy, is, this is so silly. <laughs> Alright. I don't wanna lose my cards to more hand control stuff. Let's see what you got here. Wow, holy smoke. Holy smoke. Gravity bind. Moth. Oh, nasty. Oh, double moth, huh? Oh. Yike! Moth. Alright. Better be setting everything. I did. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my metal tank. No protection for me. Not that I could do anything with it anyway. Ah. Oh, Sukiyomi. yes! Keep setting. Oh, the loop. This is so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> this is not good. I need an Let's answer go, here. Gravity by Moth. Let's go. Graceful charity. Graceful. Graceful, please. <sighs> Graceful! Oh, Farfa, you're not scared of Heavy Storm? What's going on, bro? What's going on? I mean, I would love for you to top deck Heavy Storm and activate it right now. By all means, go ahead. <laughs> Two turns on wave motion! I see how it is, Sam. The XE Dragon Cannon is just too powerful for you. It's like an it's absolute artil it's an artillery like warhead that you just cannot deal with, so you have to you have to stall it's me down like this. It makes sense. Farfa, Farfa, I'm telling you right now, it's it's, it's pretty hard, man. It's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I do not have a lot of outs in my deck to this. I think my out is slowly try and just summon the XE Dragon and then just pop those cards. Farfa, do you think I'm gonna let that happen? <laughs> like, uh, I, I mean, that's that's the thing, <laughs> I guess. If you, right? think, if you think I'm gonna let that happen, then you're it. <gasps> Draw MST, 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 MST. Not yet. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, I gotta survive. Alright, Sam, you gonna send that wave motion? Honestly, um, yeah, because I, I think so. Send that same. Alright, smart move. Because yeah, I could have uh, set uh, Arm Ninja or something, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it again. Sorry. <laughs> what <a> motion! 
<sighs> I assume you probably have a spell in there. Oh, you know Matt. Oh, no, 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 yes, no, no, misclicked. He misclicked. <laughs> the classic Farfa maneuver, not clicking yes. I love it. We have a chance. It just puts you back one turn. Yeah. And one extra turn is all I'm going to need. Maybe. <laughs> I still don't think I win this time. Like, honestly, I'm in a really bad spot. I didn't think he would be going into burn, but I guess in hindsight, I probably should have saw that coming. Creature swap. Yeah, bro, just give me anything. It's fine, you know? Just give me one of your face downs. Arm ninja would be nice. Egg side cannon would be nice, too. I just, you know, wanna, you know, I just wanna swap it out, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> hey, Farfa, yo, Farfa, you, you, you have a question. Seriously, though. Uh, what does Sukiyomi do? Returns to the hand in the end phase. <laughs> creature swap, guys. Yo, let's ban creature swap. Let's just ban it. You know? Yeah, it's too good, man. No, it's too good. Just ban, let's just ban creature swap. You know? Why not? All right. Well, let's dig for some answers, Sam. Let's dig for some answers. Are you kidding me right now, Farva? Oh, this I'm is so, so weird. Sure. This is like, I want this, but like, this is my answer. For what? So surely I just keep this. Ah, oh, for Greece, bro. He always draws the power cards. Like, he <sighs> always draws the power cards. Man, I'm just going to turn off my brain. Greedy jar good. So as you notice, Sam, I discarded uh, Magic wait, wait, Drain wait. Raigeki Break, which is my out to those silly cards. But... Wait, what? Can't say no to the jar. <laughs> <laughs> right? You have a... No, bro, but on... Mm, well... You <laughs> oh! Draw Drain, another Raigeki Break. He, uh, I do put... Uh... You can try another, another Regeki break if you want. Let me storm! That's not good. <laughs> Let us proceed in the direction of forward. Um, in hindsight, I can just flip that back up. That's in fine. hindsight, I recognize that I just got really excited. That was probably too early to use heavy storm. <laughs> Real talk, that was probably too early. <laughs> I should have. I just saw heavy storm. I slammed that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, alright, well. Get rid of that moth so you don't keep looping it. Just gonna add a wave motion. I'm gonna add a wave motion, actually. God. You already use your heavy storm, right? So you, you already use your heavy storm, so I'm good with that. Yes, sir. Alright, main two. Set a card and pass. Are you just setting because of my hand loop? Yes. Hand controls. Is very pee pee. Another wave motion. Oh, this is so degenerate. I'm not having fun. Bro, honestly, that yo, that 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 loop is pretty insane. The one what I did with Suk and Gravity Bind. Oh, that, that was, yep. I'm very, it I'm very is happy with very that. powerful. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Double X head cannon. Let's attack this set card first. Good luck. What is it? Guard. Guard, get him. Alright, well, put me back a whole turn here. Oh, this is rough. Actually this is rough. back two turns. Yeah, no, holding Heavy Storm was definitely the play there. <laughs> I, I got too excited. Nah! My X head. X gon' give it to ya. X gon' give it to ya. <laughs> <laughs> X gon' give it to ya. RIP, 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 RIP. I feel like I'm definitely just delaying the inevitable right now. I don't think I can out this anymore. RIP, 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 RIP. RIP. Guard is too X, big, go man. go give it to you. Go give it to you. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to, like, top deck. Like, I just... Honestly, I just want a game three, to be honest. I just, I just, I just really just want a game three. Well, there is a card in the game that helps me. It's that one. All right. Get rid of my Y head dragon cannon oh, first of yes, all. Yes! Oh, oh my god! Or I keep forgetting to. Did you have Chitonian Blast? Activate Mirage of Nightmare! Wow! <sighs> Good. Alright, let's pray I draw MST off this. If that's an MST, I'll be so pissed. <laughs> Stand by! Mirage of Nightmare! Activate! Hajime! 
Doodle! Hi! Or, or this, this card single, single handedly won you the game la, 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 last game. Especially. Hey. No, 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 no. XYZ Dragon Cannon won me the game last game. Okay? Okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Show some respect to my boy ABC Buster Dragon's little cousin. Or I guess technically it would be his grandfather. You're discarding four next turn! <laughs> ay ay ay! You're discarding this is, four! Uh, this is not good. Wait, how many forceful sentries do you play? That's the uh, second one. Yeah, yeah, I have two. But I kept recycling with, uh, with thing. Alright. Sam, why would you not get rid of the Raigeki break? Because you have to discard four next turn, Farfa. But I have a draw phase. Yeah. I, and I could oh. draw MST. Oh, okay, you're right, you're right. It's okay, well, I ha this, sh this should be game. Uh, how much damage is that, 2,000? Uh, oh, no, no, it's not, it's not game. Maybe oh, yeah, it's mandatory, isn't she? Yeah, 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 maybe I was too greedy with that. I should have just summoned her, bounced the head, X head cannon, and then... I, I should have just summoned her... Uh, with X I can and flip guard. No, but no, but honestly, this point it gives this gives me a guard, right? So. Cool. Uh, all right, give me MST. Give me MST. I beg. On the set card. Come on, Mirage. Give me. Come on. Discard the bad cards. I beg you. Discard the bad cards. Wow, literally or every, like, all right. Okay, good game, Sam. <laughs> that, was just, that was fun. So I had, like, w one card I wanted to keep. Uh, not keep, just one card. Like, I would be happy with any other card, and I kept, like, the one bad card. It was crazy. Oh, my God, the chat. This is unpl This is disgusting. Let's put these uh, anti-burn cards in here. Let's take out Confiscation. Don't want to be paying life points anymore. Take out Messenger of Peace. Let's put in uh, Arm Ninjas. Let's put in Curse Seal. But at the same time, chat, I'm really scared. Do you know why? Because do you remember what happened last time? I sided for Burn and then Sam just like, you know, like he just didn't play Burn. Like realistically, that was the wave motion cannon that was putting in the work here. Yeah, the gravity bind was annoying, but I don't know if that was really the problem card. It was really just wave motion cannon. So maybe I just go for Magic Drain and then keep the Arm Ninjas, and then just keep going for Spell Card so I can resolve Magic Drain and Curse Seal. I take out Judgment. I th I hate sending out Judgment, but it's like, that's life points, man. That's life points. But if I want to put in my own Wave Motion Cannon, gotta make sure to not be too trigger happy on the Heavy Storm. That did kind of lose me in the game. That was a little bit Pepega. Like he does play Beaters. Is that like he's just playing Beat Down with Burn Card? So I think I still need to out Beat Down him. And I think the strategy, the original strategy we had of stalling until we can establish XE Dragon Cannon with 20 cards in hand and just rep everything is like correct. So we know he plays Messenger of Peace. We know that right here. So I kind of want to go for a mixture of Chaos and also like I want to play Chaos to be honest. Like. But I don't know if the zombie engine is good enough. Like, I, I, I bricked on this so much. I'll be more than happy to play cards like Regeki Break. Let's play Regeki Break here. Um, let's play Chaos Dragon here. And then we'll put in the Chaos Sorcerer. And then we're also put in the Night Assailant. I'll cut out the Spy. Best quality in here is it's still pretty good. You know, a really good burn card uh, right here. And let's see what else. We're, we're going second. So cards like Forceful is not that great going second. So, and I think this is good. No, no, no. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. I think this is fine. Let's see on what this deck can bring us here. Three hump Lakuda. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm first to start. Okay. All right. Please don't have Luby. All right. Um, a couple of options here. A couple of me. options. But I will start with. I think this is the right play here. And we're going to set this, this, and this. Go ahead, Samuel. Tell me what you've got. Tell me what you've got! No hand okay. control for me, turn one. Please, Please don't heavy okay. star me. Set one, t set one, set three, two cards in hand. You're either playing around Sentry. Or confiscation, which you did last game. Um, 
I'd rather play around the hand control than the one of Heavy Storm. That's the maths. And it tells me it's correct. Copium. Copium. Oh, give me a second. No way you would set Cyber Jar turn one. Like, if you set Cyber Jar turn one, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> you're setting three cards, so you're not... So that means that you're not... You don't have Heavy Storm. It's only one or two options. It's either you set Cyber Jar or you set Morphing Jar. I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this. And let's see what that back row hit, uh, that monster is. I'm gonna normal summon Archfiend. If that's a sign of good. Arm, full surprise. Yeah. I'm gonna summon Archfiend. Enter battle phase. And I'm gonna attack Cyber Jar. If Cyber Jar, I win. So far, for some reason, I can hear myself like in your. In, in, in your Discord or something. Uh, let me just turn down my volume a bit. Okay. All right, so we have a direct attack from Archfiend Soldier into my set. What are we thinking? What are we thinking here? Um, I get really good value this is Cyber Jar, so I hope it's Cyber Jar. I honestly think that. It has to be Aura. It's not Moth. You don't have any spells in your graveyard. It's not Mask of Darkness. You don't have any traps in your graveyard. Unless you activate a trap and you flip Mask of Darkness out, whatever, like, Regeki Break or Sacred Suit from your graveyard. Tour. And... I think I'm okay with you hitting my Morphing Jar, Sam. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew it. Five new cards to my hand here. As do you. I also get five new cards. Yeah. Main two. Mm-hmm. Here comes the... Here comes this. Alright. Wait, Magician, your response? <clears throat> I need to just make sure you can't bring that back with Magician of Faith, so I'm going to Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Now, I need to think about my discards here. <laughs> <gasps> I totally forgot that you can play this. You played that card? Yep, because <laughs> you play this degenerate stuff, Sam, and there is not a lot of ways to stop the the, the burn deck in this old format, because I only have one MST, one Storm, so I have to play Curse Seal. Holy smokes, guys, that is insane. Uh, I think I just hold these two for the combo, right? Yeah, so I that guess I just insane. get rid of this. That is insane! Oh my god! <laughs> that is insane! <laughs> no wave motion for you for the rest of this duel! I will not be burned alive, Sam. Set four, though. That's scary. All right. Um. Barrel. Interesting. 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 Barrel. Um. I will. How many? How much damage is it? Two. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Six, ten, eight 12, ten. Twelve. Fourteen. 14. Just fourteen. Just fourteen. You, like, bro. If you saw him judging that, like, I appreciate that. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll take fourteen. Um, so I am going to go ahead and uh, unfortunately I won't be able to use this, but that's okay because as long as I establish Messenger of Peace to stop you from beating me down. Yeah, horrible, terrible. And my own wave motion cannon! Now you see, Sam, only you are affected by the curse seal this game. Not me! Uh, I think I want to hold this in case of something. But this, <laughs> I also need to hold at some point. So I am just happy to sit on this, Sam. Let us proceed! XC Dragon Cannon Stall! Best deck! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. This is insane, bro. This is insanity. Uh, let me right. go. See, it's not fun being stall. on the receiving oh, end of a wave motion, is it, Sam? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it is. Uh, so this is what I'm worried about. This is what I'm worried about. Because I know motion is insane. that you play Fiber Jar. And I know that Fiber Jar will reset the duel and disrupt this entire strategy. But at the same time, you could just be setting a random card and it's not Fiber Jar. So I don't know, man. I hate that card. Um, 
I will pay for the messenger <laughs> of peace. I'm gonna pay 100. I think no matter what, I cannot risk that being a fiber jar. So I will activate Rageki Break, discarding this tech card that I cited for your wave motion cannon, Sam. Barrel behind the door. <laughs> So any damage that I would have taken from a card effect, you would take instead. I'm wait, going to hit wait. your set monster. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, so you sided for for wave motion, right? So you use barrel behind the door, but you decide to curse seal it. Yeah, curse seal also stops creature swap. Yeah, but 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 why wouldn't you just save curse seal for creature swap and then just use this instead? Because I would, I don't even well, know. Well, because it's not a guarantee. I draw it, Sam. Oh my God, powerful. Like like, Sam, you can't just draw the- this isn't the anime, like, we don't just draw the cards we need every time we need them. Um, it's not- it's not Fiber Jar. I already told the chat what I'm doing, don't worry, they know. <sighs> no Fiber Jar there. Well, I mean, I figured it was maybe not Fiber Jar, but I mean, I couldn't risk it, because I would just auto-lose if it was a Fiber Jar. Normal Sangen? Sure. These always get so intense in game three. Yeah, there's the uh, creature swap. Um, what does Sangan get you? Do you have any Sangan targets that outwave motion? That's what I'm trying to think about right now. And I don't know if you do. I think you're just trying to dig for more f uh, fiber jar in some way by eventually getting rid of your own Sangan and then searching that fiber jar. Um, so I'm basically, oh, I don't, I'm not, fi I'm kind of just 50-50 on this creature swap, so I'll let you decide how badly you want to activate this creature swap. That's fine. You're good. That's good. You're good. All right. I don't think you play Storm. I don't remember if you, I don't think you have Heavy Storm. Gonna activate Messenger of Peace. Mm -hmm. And, um. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> uh... S strange one, because of this. Uh, I am going to set this so that you don't have the ability to crash. Hold this here, and I'm going to pass it over to you. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> oh my god, Curse Seal is insane, dude. <laughs> Curse Seal is actually insane. Like, Curse Seal is actually ridiculous. <gasps> no more wave motions. <laughs> Not for you, and only for me. One set monster. Not happy about that. Bro, honestly, yo guys, this wave motion is staring down my face and I'm actually terrified right now. I will be paying once again. Sure. <sighs> so terrified that's a fiber jar. Um, I feel like you would have needed to top deck that fiber jar and that you really needed the Sangan to get you to the fiber jar. I'm gonna take a risk here and say that that is that that is not a fiber jar. Sure. Honestly, you're Re yo, Farfa's brave, man. <laughs> I don't think it's fiber jar. I think uh it would have been more obvious if it was a fiber jar. Farfa is so brave, man. Yes, Did it so pay off? Okay. I can handle a creature swap. I think I'm okay with a creature swap. Oh, this is where I have to have a little think here. Um, Moth add back this, uh, do I need to, I think so. Cool. You can creature swap me. Give me that sign gun.
Uh, you can actually have my Z metal tank. <laughs> Any union plays, Sam? Any union plays? Bro, I'm so stupid, dude. <laughs> so that was that just like a bad creature swap? Hey, now you know how it feels to just use bad uh, creature swap badly. I did it last week. That was your I'm turn. So stupid. What I was trying to do is I was trying to give you my uh, uh, give you my archfiend soldier so I can crash into the Sangen and then search my out. <sighs> so you were trying to give me two monsters? <laughs> no, 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 no. So I have Sangen, right? Oh, right. you want it so, right? So I so I give you archfiend soldier, and then I. Sangan attack into Archfiend Soldier. It dies, yeah. I search for my out. Okay. Dude, man. Why didn't you just do it, Forehead? Bro, I... I I'm so... Sam, you could have just did it, right, Lamo? I'm... I'm um, I, my, head, my head is spinning right now, bro. I, don't, I can't believe I misplayed that. Like, like, it's like... I can't believe I misplayed that. Oh. This is not good, bro. I, I, I don't like this. Yo, can we can we ban wave motion? I'm gonna set a card and pass to you. I know that this set shouldn't be anything. Maybe at best it's a guard. I don't know how many of those you pulled. Honestly, I've never seen anybody hold. Never seen anybody hold down wave motion that long. You drew it off the top. You top decked it. Oh. I've never seen anybody been so greedy for wave motion cannon in my entire life. I feel like it was so obvious if it was going to be fiber Put jar. Put that back. Put that back. Everything like that. Put that back. Judgment. Oh, uh. let's go. Give me. Terrible. Let's go right, the playing field. Baby. Time let's for go. game three, two. Which I'm sure you're, you're you're all excited about. Normal summon Archfiend Soldier. Uh huh. I'm gonna set battle phase attack for 19. Baby. Yep. Great. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Bro, why are you so greedy with the wave motion? Well, cause I f I figured that you would have to specifically top deck fiber Wait, dart. Bro, Bro number one. Okay, number one. Okay. Sam, it's like a one in twenty-four. Like, like I, I hold no, but, for the wave oh, motion in that scenario. No, but you, but you knew I have Sangan though. Like you knew I have Sangan, regardless, yeah. right? So that means that whenever I draw creature swap, like I could just still switch my monsters back and make Sangan crash and get access to fiber jar regardless. So once you already yeah, and then when you get the uh, and then when you get access to the fiber jar, that's when I would fi fire off the wave motion. You can't oh, get okay. access to okay. fiber jar and trigger it on the same turn. Yeah, but. So you would only I, the I only way for that. you to but, do that would be bro, for you to top deck it. But bro, you wait. You have four counters on on, on wave motion. You have four. Yeah. Like why don't you just launch it? Like do you, you, you really think there's you have eight ways? Like can you think like realistically? You think that you could get eight turns for wave motion? No, no. Yeah, as long as I correctly read when the fiber jar gets set, I think I think it was it was the right way to do it. But let's play oh. game three too because. Chat voted that Fiber Jar was perfectly healthy and fun to play with. All right, that's a secret barrel. Uh, is this secret for cards barrel. in there? Hand and card the country. Yeah, it is. Okay. Honestly, well, like you have, you, like you have six. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I, I, I still think you're in a better position for to win. Let's fire off graceful. And, and and you drew graceful. You know, so like we can't complain. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Graceful is pretty nice. This and. <laughs> I think it's gonna be why, this. Why can't I draw graceful? You know what I'm saying? Graceful pot! Graceful pot! Ooh! Auga. I, I, nothing I couldn't done. Let's begin with a normal summon X head cannon. X gon' give it to ya. Gon' give it to ya. X gon' give it to ya. Frontline base, baby! You know what this card says, Sam? Uh, special Union Monster from your hand. Special Summon Who Megalol? That's right. Z Metal Tank. <laughs> Priority effect of Z Metal Tank. Equip onto X Head Cannon. <gasps> Woo! 2400. Nice Archfiend Soldier, baby. I have 
summoned skull basically on the field. Let's go. It's a resolve. Yes, it does. I, I bro, I, bro, I listen. Like, I, I, like, I don't have much defensive cards to be honest. I'm gonna be completely fair with you. Um, go ahead, baby. <laughs> Show me what you got here. Any nice uh, top decks? Any good top decks for me, Sam? I'm only on 31. You don't need to do that much damage. I think a secret barrel might put me in critical range here. I'm kind of scared about that. <sighs> I swear to God, if that's Fiber Jar 2, man, like... Oh... I swear to God, if that's Fiber Jar 2... <laughs> What's, what, are, what, what are the chances? Do you, do you really think I have that? Really well, it's a brand five. new hand of set f uh, of draw five. So yes, this is if you were to draw fiber jar, this would be the the perfect time for you to draw it. Do you really think? Do you really think I'm skillful enough to draw some fiber jar? I am Please. so far ahead right now that I cannot risk that being a fiber jar. And if you top deck it after this turn, then so be it. I'm going to pass my turn here, and then in your draw phase, I will activate Raigeki Break, and I will hit that set card. Please, God, be fiber jar. Please be Fiber Jar. I do not want to play game 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Please be Fiber Jar. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I am so good at this game! <laughs> If that's the second fiber jar, Sam, I am going to immediately scoop to you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I just swear. want you to know. Say I will. Say I swear. will scoop. Say swear. Say swear. Say, say, say you swear. Say you swear. Sam, I do say not want swear. to play game three three. <laughs> I, I I am going to cry if this is game three three. All right. Just in case that's a guard, I'm gonna attack with this first. The moth, maybe? It is a guard, okay. That's, what the fuck are you reading all my plays? Uh, yeah, I, well, I mean, I'm good. I'm I'm very good at this uh, oh, this XZ Dragon Cannon deck, dude. I'm just insane. But, you know, if Sam has a... Uh, oh, Call the Haunted on Archfiend Soldier is pretty bad. Oh, you're gonna bring back guard? Oh, no, 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 not guard. No, 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 I mean Archfiend. Oh, no, it's Archfiend. Oh, yeah, what, what do you mean? I'm not... Oh, okay. Oh, I'm bringing back Archfiend. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring back guard. You're gonna crash? Yeah, I need to get rid of it. I don't want you to have pressure. Okay, all right. Honestly, bro, you you keep having one card in hand, man. I'm so scared. You keep having that one. It's either a Geki Break, Curse Seal, bro. How yo? Okay, how many Curse Seals are you playing? I don't know, Obviously, you can't tell me that. Uh, what do you mean? I've only Curse Seal like Wave Motion. Yeah, but you obviously like our, our the game hasn't reset like so many times, so. Ah, that's bad. Second Archfiend Soldier. Have some pressure here. Harpa, honestly, bro, hats off to you, man. That was a really good read. Like, that was a really good read. Like, yeah, I'm still not getting rewarded really for good. it. Really good, really good read. Ooh. Yeah. All right, let's give me some time. Oh my God! Okay, listen, buy me anybody some time. in the comments? Or in the chat, cannot complain that I play burn when this guy is doing this to me every single game, like every game, like, like every every game, and like, like every game, like every game he has this. Like you can't even complain. I have fiber. <laughs> can we get some baby no, rages no. in the chat, no, please? That's not. No, no. I'm actually. Can we, can we get some baby like, rages, please? No, 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 no. Absolutely nobody can complain now. Supposed to set that? No, no, absolutely no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Nobody can complain. Go even say do not. <laughs> do not. Oh my god. Ever. All right. <sighs> Bro, you're the one that doesn't want a game three three. Okay, I'm gonna just message her in peace. Yeah, I don't want game three two. I want game three extended. That's why I play this. Like I'm down for the DLC, but you know, if you want to make like a whole other expansion, like no, thank you. Uh, I think we put this in defense so you hey, can't crash with Sangan. 
X head I, cannon I, is just the perfect stats. It's actually really good. Yeah. It's a shame it's not 19, I guess. If it was 19, it would have been a little bit too broken, to be honest. Yo, chat, <laughs> I, like, honestly, what do you guys think? Okay, like, what do you guys think? Like, like, are you guys enjoying this? Like, please tell me you guys are enjoying this. Like, I'm having so much fun, even though, like, you know, we're going back and forth with these things. But, like, as long as you guys have a good time, like, bro, that's all Farfront I care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... Ooh, Farfront, you know what that is. <laughs> so, you know. It's <laughs> not Fiber Jar. Get out of here. Be careful, sir. Be careful. It's not Fiber Jar. Shut the heck up. Be careful. Be careful, Farfront. <laughs> guys, Farfo, you better have that Regeki break now. You better have that break. You better oh, have that good. break. You better have that break, Farfo. Dude, if you want to play like game 3-3. Three, three, wait, which what which game 3 would it be if this is Fiber Jar? It would be game 3-3, three, three, right? Not 4? Uh, it would be game 3-3, three, three, yeah, we game 3-3. Three. Yeah, game 3-3. Three, three. Okay, great. Yeah, well done, guys. You're just getting a best of five from Oh, another set card. Let's proceed. Princess of Suguri. 500 damage to your life points for each spell and trap on your opponent's side of the field. Oh boy, that is bad that is bad getting into critical range right now i'm not gonna lie this is critical range and uh secret barrel is gonna end it for me um wow uh yeah just i'm just gonna curse seal that don't want to have to deal with that for the rest of the duel even if there's a game three four make sure there's no creature swaps for game three four or wave motions <laughs> Ah, <sighs> all right. Would you play hundred? Uh, yep. <sighs> bro, curse, bro, bro. Do you play one curse seal or you have like three? Because you always see it. Do you have? Three? Uh, I like... play two. Curse card, bro. You <laughs> creature swap and wave. Hey guys, I can't use creature swap and wave motions. Let you know. Don't use this because this punches. Gonna pass it there. We prage. We prage. Fiber jar too. You top deck another one in twenty six. Ooh, merchant. Okay. Judgment. Judgment. Bro, 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 you know, like I, I, bro, I actually love you. You know what I'm saying, like. Like during the past years, like you know, I've been playing, you know, like um, wheel series and everything. And bro, like, like, bro, we created a bond here, you know what I'm saying? Like, me in the chat here, you invited me to the Twitch community, and you know, like, I, I, I appreciate you like a lot, like, I, I for real, right? But you is know, this your farewell you know, speech before I take right. you down next turn, huh? Right, but 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 you know what it is? Do you know what? Do you know what's what's not good for me? Like, what? Why, why, why I'm gonna say because I'm X2, you know what I'm saying? I'm X2. No? Team Samurai X2. That's you. Right. For today, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna be X2 anymore. <sighs> That's game, isn't it? Blip! Princess of the Surgery! 1500 damage! To the face! <laughs> Princess freaking Surgery. 1500! <laughs> Well, you bested me, Sam. My X what? Honestly, as long as I'm, uh, as long as I got this XZ Dragon Cannon strategy off, that's what I care about the most. I can't believe I almost oh, won. I, feel I thought so I was winning this as well. It's it's it's, <sighs> it's 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 two two. It's two two now. It's it's two two now. I, I have to level the playing field. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, bro. Okay, let me explain to you my strategy. So the so the going okay. My my going first deck was a chaos deck. Okay, I'm playing zombie chaos because I pulled chaos sorks and a bunch of zombie monsters in my deck. Oh, yeah, sure. you pulled chaos sork? That's epic, dude. I'm happy yeah, yeah. for you. <laughs> I didn't pull chaos sork or thunder no, dragon. No, 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 no. But listen, I yeah. pulled X Y Z dragon cannon, Sam. Okay, no. What'd you pull in your in your dark revelation volume two? Uh, like nothing. Compulse. Um, <laughs> is mirage in there? No, that was in the first set, wasn't it? Smashing oh. ground? I got smashing ground. Bro, so basically my strategy for, for going first was definitely like just like Thunder Dragons, like Regeki Breaks, and try to chaos control with zombies. I, I don't have much zombies, so in my opening hand for game one is I open up a, a bunch of Book of Life and no zombie monsters. So like when you kept pressuring me, I just needed one zombie monster, like one Pyramid Turtle, and then I can start all my combos going, but I, I didn't have access to that. And the re and I sided into burn. I smoke screen side into burn. 
But going game one, I didn't play any burn card. That, that wasn't any, that was not, you know, that wasn't part of my strategy. I And also, I did not main Fiber Jar, by the way. Uh, You don't main it? No, I don't main so it. So what's I, Fiber I, Jar for? When you we just, ah, uh, this duel, I might lose. I'll I'll flip Fiber Jar. Like, I, what, what's the point of citing it? Like, just play it or don't play it, right? That's why I cite it. It's like, if, if I'm losing this duel, I get access to it. That's why. <laughs> Uh, I was, dude, I, 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 I'm just upset. Like, I had the read on, like, the right fiber jar, and then, like, I still, like, lost. Like, oh, man. <laughs> I thought I was really gonna pull off my XC Dragon Cannon strategy. Nah, uh, nah, bro. That was good, man. Now, yo, now, bro, now the, now the field is, is leveled. You know what I'm saying? It's 2 2. Next week, you're gonna see it. Bro, honestly, I'm letting you know for every week, I'm gonna try a different strategy. So, like, last week, I kind of play, like, control, whatever. This week, I played chaos. Last week I played Burn. Like I'm trying to make, I'm trying to mix it up to make things a little more interesting. So wow, people are telling me to ban Fiber Jar now. Holy! Yeah, they changed their minds, huh? Man. Look, after watching it in action, just like, yep, managed to get the good reads. Finally winning. Oh wow, top deck Fiber Jar. Guess we're playing again. <laughs> Bro, you should have launched that wave motion. Should have <laughs> launched it. Well, no, it. because no, because here's the thing, right? It actually didn't matter, right? Because I need to do eight thousand, or it doesn't matter, right? Because oh, no, let's say I did matter, launch the wave motion, you would have 4,000 less life points, but then what? I still lost, right? I didn't, you know what I mean? Marfa, Marfa, listen, you know I have Regeki Breaks in my deck. You know I have Dust in my deck. You know I have Heavy Storm in my deck. You what, have Dust? You tell me, bro, you seen me activate Dust. Like, do, do you forget? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, but you, okay, listen, like, okay, no, I really want to understand your, 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 your logic behind that though. Like, why? Like, why is it good to hold, like, for it that long? Like, because you, Sam, okay, example, think it, of it this it, way, right? Let's say, let's say, wait, so you were actually trying to hold it for eight turns? Yes. Eight turns. Yes. Chat, do you not see something wrong with that? Do you not see something wrong with, bro? So, so you're telling me that within eight turns, I don't have a chance of drawing my I three regeki breaks? Can I explain? Hey, please go. Okay, the the reason is is that if I don't hold it and I just launch it at three or four thousand, there's it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't achieve anything. It does a little bit of damage and that's it. I can't win from there anyway. So I might as well try and just get all 8,000 value. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't have a lot of cards that pay life points. Your strategy is, uh, you know, stall with wave motion as well. So like, I can't push through and do more damage. So I have to just try and do all 8,000 and win instead of like doing half of the damage and then still not winning anyway, because I can't get through and do more damage after the 4,000 regardless. So I have to just hope that the 8,000 resolves. But so regardless, with, with that strategy being in mind, you would rather even risk me having Regeki Break or Dust or Heavy Storm? Yeah, because my win condition isn't really wave motion, right? Like, I don't, like, if you hit, if you Regeki Break my wave motion, I don't really care that much. It means you have to Regeki Break wave motion instead of the Messenger of Peace or potentially my XZ Dragon Cannon. And I'm fine with that. Okay, all right, man. I'm telling you right now, the best way to actually win in a format like this is just to apply pressure. So regardless, like if you had launched the 4K thing, like thing, and now all you gotta do is just keep, like you're playing unions, right? Now all you gotta do is yeah. just beef up your union monster, just keep attacking for pressure. But no, honestly, that's that that's just the way that, you know, I would play it. Like as soon as I, I see four, my my mind is I'm, 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 I'm launching it regardless. <laughs> but you know, like, you know, like it's good to understand both, both of our differences. And you know what? I like your idea. Like regardless, I like your idea, but Listen, like wave motion is the reason why burn cards are good in in, in, in our strategies right now is because it, it, it is actually uh it's it's one of the win conditions to actually deal damage other than attacking, obviously. So yeah. obviously like I feel like just the way you hold it too long is just too risky. Like you could have just done 4K, you know what I'm saying? If you've done 4K, let's think about it this way. If you've done 4K damage and and you play around fiber dart, I you attack into my fiber dart, you put back your wave motion again anyways. And you have a pot of greed, graceful, and then you just launch it again. You know? Yeah, potentially. So like, yeah, so like that, that that's it. But anyways. I All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Master Series. We're having so much fun with this. Let me know. Do you guys think Fiber Jar should get banned? Guys, let us know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.